And oh, it's always a very special experience to be broadcasting under the floodlights here at Stadium Australia in Sydney. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Japan and they take on Spain. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the match begins. Atenia. And providing width. Sornosa. A really top-notch piece of defending. Rico Ueki. Tanaka Yui Hasagawa she's made a really important challenge Alba Redondo and that pass could be troublesome a terrific defending to stop them progressing Weki onto Tanaka well, attacking possibilities. Rico Ueki. Now, who can she pick out? In position! And still a chance. And a time for cool heads. Atenia. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Esther Gonzalez and Hermoso no possibilities in the centre Gonzalez oh brilliant goalkeeping Miyazawa Tanaka Good visualisation and execution. And can they prize them open now? And that's a very good parry. Sornosa. Gonzalez. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent.
Oh, she's in here. And she's kept it out. Playing it short. Shiori Miyake. Terrific block. Well, not hard to read that pass. Saki Kumagai. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Big chance! Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Claudia Sornosa. They might be able to get in now. Sornosa. And a relatively straightforward save for the keeper. Weki. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. She has teammates around her. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. And they need to get tighter. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, no surprise there. Spain have had most of the possession, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Jenny. Can they forge ahead? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, she keeps moving. Can they take the lead here? And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here we see it again, and you have to say, the build-up play was brilliant. Quick one-touch passing, clever movement, and a simple finish. That was a really good team goal. So, underway again here, 1-0 the score. Esther Gonzalez. Atenia. And lining it up. A good and fair challenge. Hinata Miyazawa. Ueki. And Miyake. Yui Hasagawa. Miyazawa. Well, she's gliding through. Now, who can she pick out? And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. 
That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Cleared away comprehensively. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. Surely! And the keeper's hand does the trick. using her considerable strength to shield the ball Esther Gonzalez Sornosa and I must say that was a very promising attack the alarm bells were sounding Nagano on to Kumagai well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Will it be sufficiently imaginative? A well, fine reading of the situation. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Yui Hasagawa. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Crossing opportunity. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Keen to take it short here. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Short corner it is. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Now who can she pass it to? Textbook defending inside the box. This might be ideal for the counter. Body in the way. Real chance. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Yui Hasagawa. Tanaka. Can she slot at home? They could nudge in front. And a goal! Just like that! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but you have to question the defending here. They don't attack the ball when it comes in. They don't react quickly enough to close the scorer down. It's really poor defending. Go! 
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Now, what can they do from here? Big chance to get them on terms. Can they put it away? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. June Endo. And unable to keep possession. Alba Redondo. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Asagawa. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And taking it away. And threading it forward. And a fantastic diving save. And there's the delivery. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Fukan Nagano. Oh, she's given it away. And just over the bar, albeit narrowly. Take it away. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. Oh, great vision. This could level it. And all square now. And you have to ask the question, is the time for either side to win it? Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Atenea. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, here it is again, and all credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. She's got to have that cover for me. No wonder she's frustrated with herself. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Fukan Nagano. Great opportunity. And a goal to level it up late on here. 
Just look at the reaction. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Underway again. We can't complain about a lack of entertainment. 3-3. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated, and goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one.